YouTube kick. Quick little story. I'm not going to make this long. Ben and Jerry says that we had stole the land. Let's get to it. Ben and Jerry's, the United States was founded on stolen indigenous lands. This is the this 4th of July. Let's commit to returning it. So pretty much what Ben and Jerry's was saying. And we'll go right into this. Um, <clears throat> when the indigenous leaders blocked the road to Mount Rushmore before Independence Day celebration 2020, it highlighted a conflict that most Americans probably know a little about. Long before South Dakota had become a state, long before the faces of our four American presidents were blasted into the side of Mount Rushmore, the mountain was known as Takalika Escape, the six grandfathers to the uh, Lakota Sioux, a holy mountain that rises up from the Black Hills land they considered sacred. The heart of everything that is. The Black Hills were known as the Lakota Okay, guys, we're not about to go too deep into that. The sacred land is not for sale. In 1970, indigenous activists climbed Mount Rushmore and occupied it for months, demanding uh, to land to, uh, land to be returned to the uh, Seahawks. I hope I'm saying that right, right guys. Probably not. Ten, later, ten years later, the U.S. Supreme Court ruled that Mount Rushmore and the Black Hills had indeed been stolen, saying a more ripe and ranked case of dishonorable dealings will never be found in our history. They awarded the Seahawks $150. $5 million in damages, but the tribes refused the payment. Why? Because this sacred land is theirs and it's not for sale. So I'm pretty sure this is what this is all being based off of. Um, but before we continue on, why are we talking about this? Because the 4th of July, many people in the U.S. celebrate liberty and in, uh, independence of our own countries and our own. Sorry, I messed that up. Because of the 4th of July, many people in the U.S. celebrate liberty and independence, our countries and our own. But what is the meaning of Independence Day for those who, for whose land it is, uh, the, this country that is stole? Those who were murdered and forced with brutal violence and re onto reservations and those who were pushed from their holy places and denied the freedom. So the argument here that people are starting to make is that this land was never stolen. It was conquered. You know, we came through, we slaughtered, we did what we had to do. Um, man. This is a tough one. This is a tough one. Um, I do believe the land was conquered. You know, we came through, we did what we had to do. Um, and that's just the way it is, man. Before we got here, the Native Americans were doing the same thing, conquering, taking, slaughtering. It's just, it's just ugly. There's no easy way to say that land was conquered and taken from people, right? But it is kind of crazy to say it was stolen. If it was conquered and, you know, we came through and did the things that we did, that I can't sit here and say that it was completely stolen. Um, I truly believe that this probably won't hurt Ben and Jerry's that much. I don't. Um, because the main difference between what they're saying and what happened with Bud Light is that Ben and Jerry has been on this take. Ben and Jerry has been this way. They've always been um, political and been about um Black Lives Matter, LGBTQ. It's not like they hopped on this bandwagon. It seemed like when Bud Light did it, it was kind of out of left field. It was like, Dylan Mulvaney, Dylan Mulvaney, like, what are y'all doing? Um, and then they, you have the whole marketing campaign come out and say, we want to move to a more diverse thing. We don't want these frat guys and frat parties and stuff like that. And so they kind of pretty much, they pretty much denounced their consumer base. Ben and Jerry's isn't doing that. Ben and Jerry's is not like a patriotic company. So it's not like they went from guys who are rough and tough with beers and cowboy hats eating ice cream. It's not like that. Ben and Jerry's isn't a part of that. Ben and Jerry's is part of the whole company. Um, y'all know Dove, um, the same company that owns Dove owns Ben and Jerry's, which there's some controversy about that because uh, Dove is always talking about being body positive and being okay with being obese. And it's funny because the same people that own them own ice cream companies like Popsicle, Ben and Jerry's, Conlac, and all those other kind of bars. Uh, all those kind of bars. All those other kind of companies. So it's just funny that they even promote the ice cream and they also promote being obese. So it's kind of funny. But anyway, I... I don't see Ben and Jerry's going down like Bud Light because this is these people that run Ben and Jerry's are the same people who run Dove, who run all these other companies that say stuff like this all the time. So it's nothing new for them. So I'm I'm sure they're not going to just uh, we're not going to boycott them because they're to be honest. But Ben and Jerry's is not really a conservative ice cream. Um, it's not like um, what we saw with Bud Light. It's not patriotic, like I said. Let me know what y'all think, man. Uh, I don't think it's. I don't think anything's gonna happen to this company. They just want to return Mount Mount Rushmore to Lakota, 
and that ain't gonna happen. So I'll see you on the next video. Hope you have a great day. Bye.